with everybody yeah, yeah. on the bus to do rap battles. Of course, <laughs> it was embarrassing because he was the only one that could rap. Rewind, recap, relive for over 50 episodes. The Revolutionary Force in Wrestling Interview. Carlito, to go back to you now, sticking on the topic of titles, you made your SmackDown in-ring debut against the Doctor of Thugonomics, right? John Cena, and you picked up the U.S. Championship. Can you talk about that feeling and what it was like on your debut winning a, a championship? Yeah, you know, it was great. It was you know, one of the best ways to debut. Um, yeah. I just felt, you know, that it was, it was cool that they, uh, you know, trusted me enough to, to do that with me, especially, you know, my first day coming in there. Um, I, hadn't, I hadn't done many matches up there with the main roster. Uh, so, yeah, it, was just, it just felt good. That's the main part is that, uh, that they trusted me, you know, with that, with that honor. And working with someone like uh, Cena, and I know that you two had moments throughout both of your careers, but that was really early on. Was that a good experience overall? Yeah, it was great. You could tell that Cena was going to, well, I think it was already something special at that point. But you could yeah. tell that, uh, you know, he was, he was going places. So it was kind of cool to, to be there in the beginning and, you know, work with him at that stage. And then, you know, later, you know, later on uh, with the different stages uh, and just to see his growth from, you know, different Areas when we had our matches, you can see he had changed and developed so much as a wrestler. During that time period, uh, he was still Doctor Thugonomics. Did you ever see him backstage preparing any of those raps or anything? Man, we used to do. Uh, he just could do it off the top of the head. I don't know how. Wow. We would do uh, after the uh, on, like on European tours or international tours. We would get on the bus, and the bus rides would be you know a couple of hours, and we would do uh, we do what do you call it? Rap battles. Or whatever. Everybody yeah, yeah. on the bus would do rap battles. <laughs> It was embarrassing because he was the only one that could rap. I don't know who else could, but uh, yeah, he just, you know, you'd, you'd start a rap and then when you ended, the other person had to go on from whatever you said. And then, yeah, Cena would always just go out and we just look at him like, okay, this is not, this is not funny or fair. I guess like, you know, we're terrible. <laughs> and then this guy is, you know, yeah. able to rap. I don't know how, he, I don't know how you can do that. Just, you know, pick words like that real quick and just put them together like that. That's, that's an art. It really is. It's definitely an art. Did you ever, uh, did the spot ever land on you for those raps or? Oh my God. Terrible. Yeah. I did it. I don't care. <laughs> terrible, we, we, yeah. We, yeah we, 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 we'd been drinking for a little bit at that point. So, you know, I'm happy to get in there and try and rap the best I can. Who cares? Get them bars, <laughs> bro. Get them bars. <laughs> uh, and then another question about that title. And I'm curious how your father felt about that, because I mean, that is his son on his debut night, as you said, huge accomplishment. Did he say anything to you about that? Uh, yeah, you know, my dad and I are very short of words. Uh, that's not the way we communicate, but I, that's, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I like that. Um, yeah. I like that about us, you know, our, our, our phone calls usually last, I think our world record is about two minutes, but you know, we get everything. <laughs> How, yeah, it's good. Everything's good. Yeah. All right. I love you, son. Love you too, dad. Boom. Nice and easy. Um, yeah, I didn't say much. Just, you know, I'm proud of you. Uh, you know, you did great. And, uh, you know, uh, you just told me to, what do you tell me? Like, just, okay, keep your head on straight. I think is what he told me really like, okay, you know, keep going and you're doing good, but you know. Don't screw up. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet, though. That's awesome. Rewind, recap, relive for over 50 episodes. The Revolutionary Force in Wrestling Interview.